Hi there. My name is Jason Perkins. I want to welcome you to another episode in the Georgia Workers' Compensation video series. I'm an attorney who specializes in handling Georgia workers' compensation cases. I created this series of videos because I want to find people who have been hurt at work with helpful information about Georgia's workers' compensation law and the benefits they should receive under it. Today, I want to talk to you about knee replacements from workers' compensation injuries. Now, the first question is, does workers' compensation in Georgia cover knee replacements? Well, the answer to that question is a little bit complicated. Yes, Georgia workers' compensation law does cover knee replacements, but the workers' compensation insurance company is probably going to deny payment for your knee replacement if your doctor recommends it. So why is that? Well, generally, workers' compensation in Georgia does cover knee replacements. That means that they're a procedure that under the law is covered and workers' compensation should pay benefits for if it's related to your workers' compensation injury at work. What the workers' compensation insurance company is often going to try to argue is you don't need a knee replacement because you're injury at work. You need a knee replacement because you're getting older. You have arthritis in your knee. You've got some pre-existing condition. And that's the reason you need the knee replacement. And so there's going to be an argument about whether the insurance company has to pay for the knee replacement or not. Now, a lot of times, your workers' compensation knee replacement may be related to both a pre-existing condition in your knee and the injury you suffered at work. In other words, you may have already had some arthritis or some sort of pre-existing condition in your knee, and you had an injury at work that led to you needing the knee replacement. So what happens in this situation? Well, if your knee replacement is due to both the injury at work and the pre-existing condition, then generally it should be covered under Georgia's workers' compensation law. If your injury is due solely to the pre-existing condition, then it's not going to be covered. Um, now, this is a pretty complicated question. Often it's going to depend a lot on what your doctors say, um, what your treating workers' compensation doctor says, and also the insurance company may send you out for a second opinion to another doctor to get a different opinion about the need for your knee replacement. Um, but the medical questions and what the doctors say are going to be crucial in whether workers' compensation has to pay for the knee replacement or not. Now, if workers' compensation does pay for the knee replacement, what workers' compensation benefits do you receive when you have a knee replacement? Well, if you have knee replacement surgery, you're probably going to be out of work for some period of time. So the workers' compensation insurance company should be paying you temporary total disability benefits when you're out of work as a result of your injury. They're also going to pay medical benefits. So they pay for the knee replacement, the follow-up treatment you need as a result of that. And the other thing that happens with knee replacements is you may need another knee replacement in the future because knee replacements only last so long. Um, and knee replacements are one of the specific types of treatment that are excluded from the 400 week cap on medical benefits under Georgia workers compensation law. Um, so it provides you additional treatment in the future if you need an additional knee replacement. You also should receive permanent partial disability benefits. A knee replacement has a minimum rating of 37% to the lower extremity under the American Medical Association guides to evaluation of permanent impairment. Um, that means you're going to receive some permanent partial disability benefits for your knee replacement. The other thing that can happen is you may receive a potential settlement as a result of your knee replacement. Um, now, settlement is something that you never have to do, um, but most workers' compensation cases do settle it at some point. And I've discussed settlement in more detail in other episodes of the Georgia Workers' Compensation video series, so please be sure and check those out. I hope you found this information about whether workers' compensation covered knee replacements helpful. If you have, please let me know that. The best way you can do that is by liking this video or giving it a thumbs up. If you've got more questions about Georgia workers' compensation law, please set up a free consultation with me to get answers to those questions. There's two easy ways you can set that consultation up. First is by calling the phone number at the bottom of the screen, and the other is by reaching out to me through our website, which is www.perkinslawtalk.com. Click on and submit the free consultation request form, and a member of our team will contact you to get that consultation scheduled. I'd like to thank you again for watching this video today. I want to wish you the best of luck as you recover from your injuries.